I'm Margaret Ann Wenser, and I hope this goes up in a little bit. I'm going to put it up. I'm having to move right now to another room again. And I know if I make it till the end of the month, I, uh, I'm going to have to go. This is uh, just part of the stuff I've managed to put back together with some people helping me put some things together, uh, some clothing, etc. Problem is, I'm so weak from uh, the fumes, I have an autoimmune disorder. That'd pass out. I just went to the doctor yesterday, and uh, anyway, there's a few more things back there, and in the little fridge, i got to get some stuff out. But it's heavy for me, and today's Thanksgiving, and um, I don't even know if anybody will help, and I want to... Uh, I'll say something my husband told me a long time ago. Uh, what was my problem was being kidnapped uh, and tortured and given another name. My mom and dad taken from me. Now my children, I don't know where, if they're alive or dead. Oh, I want to mention a Jew doctor, Hyman Miller. Uh, he had a German wife, and she was a German Jew. And they lived very wealthy. He was a psychiatrist. So I was feeling a little blue. I had two small children, 11 and a half months apart. And back in Huntsville, Alabama at that time, it was still like the Space Center was going. It was hard. There were no doctors hardly. And uh, specialty or anything. So I went to the office of Hyman Miller. And I was misdiagnosed, but once you get it down, it's hard. It can be used against you forever. So all these people that rush with their children to a psychiatrist, um, you better watch out. It'll follow them forever. Now then, I want to say this. He, he was a Jew, and he knew who I really am, who my father is. I'm Margaret N. Windsor, Queen Victoria II, heir, the real Queen of England, the day I was born. My father's Edward VIII, who was married to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, Windsor, in '36, And um, he was taken down with character assassination. He never married Wallace Simpson. She married a double. And... Um, um, George, Elizabeth's father, my uncle, helped in my kidnapping. And uh, the Illuminati, Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bilderbergers that own your uh, press. And they're having a nice Thanksgiving, Christmas. Uh, and they've lied. They've never told the truth about me or the mind control murders. Larry Flint was shot. George Wallace of Alabama <coughs> shot by a program shooter. But you can cure an illness or create one, like cancer or anything. You can uh, create uh, AIDS and Ebola and send it to South Africa. But anyway, so I'm not scattered around here. I want to get back to the things done to me. Hyman Miller uh, raped Peggy uh, Ferguson Lauderdale. She's a friend of mine. She come to me one day, and I, I think it was 64 maybe, and asked me had he ever done that to me. That And she described what he did, put his arm around her and told her to look up at the vent, and she couldn't remember anything after then. The problem was the timeline. Uh, you're supposed to have 45 minutes to an hour, and he was done in about 30 or something. I, I, it was similar to that. And then she went home, and her panties were, you know, she could tell something was wrong. <clears throat> so anyway, his wife and his secretary guarded. <laughs> Later I found out outside the door while he did this to his patients. He was from New York. And now I'm going to get to the anesthesiologist, the doctor, and I've forgotten her name, but I've put it up on here before, so somewhere it's up here four or five times. Her husband was a doctor there in Huntsville, and they were Jews. Um, I can remember 
and I'm not going to get into all of it. I can remember being taken in there and given shock treatments in his office, and then there's a whole thing here, and uh, very sick. And this is where the FBI agent Noe in Grottoes, Virginia, in 84, 85, fits in. He was the good guy. But anyway, I'm not going to get He was there when the diagnosis, my husband, he was at Brown Engineering. Now, he's FBI, but he was working with my husband at Brown Engineering in Huntsville, which later became IBM. Anyway, he was standing there when they handed uh, the papers to my husband. Uh, they were insurance papers that Hyman Miller had filled out. A total sick friggin' lies that can follow you the rest of your life. Doctors stick together. Thank God I've had some good ones here in Roanoke, Salem. Really, there's some good ones here. I suppose there's some bad ones too, but anyway. Oh, uh, what was I going to get to? I'm just going to get to this. I was misdiagnosed. I was never at all when I was diagnosed. That what was wrong with me is autoimmune disorder it has nothing to do with mental illness or anything. But he deliberately did it, and it was followed through and used as a threat to me. If I stepped out of line, I did anything out of uh, you know, complain. Um, then I was subject to being handcuffed, and that's where Jack Hartsfield, the reporter, FBI agent in 1980. Uh, came into play and saved my life, and I was flown out to Larry Flint's, and I put that up. Please don't start someone saying, oh, that's crazy. No, I'm telling you the truth about programming, chipping, and all that of people, and Jack did too, but nobody, he got fired from the Huntsville Times, but then he was out there at Flint's, so um, I, he was a nice guy. His Nephew was Hank Hartsville, the astronaut who was commander of a couple of the shuttles. So he wasn't just a nobody, you know. But back to the shock. shock. Um, and I'm not going to go any further after this. I'm hoping this will be told. I can remember my husband holding my hand and uh, saying to me as they were putting me under to shock me. <laughs> he was saying chicken licking you will tell them the sky is falling and you'll beg them to help you but they won't you get the he was saying something like you get the piece of the pie baked and then they'll want a slice of it, but they won't help you bake it. And I'll leave it there. <laughs> There's a question of who my husband is or if it's a big joke. I'm going to leave it here because then they use Victor Gonzalez, who had been at, at the hospital at Parkland when Jeff K was brought in there and died. But he wasn't, for me, that I know of. He was in Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, later in Atlanta, waiting on me to come over there. And my husband turned me over to him. I told people about mind control, wrote about it. I loved people very much. But I'm going to tell you now, nobody's going to come in here except maybe the man... Uh, behind the desk up there. I don't know. I'm just about dead from the fumes. and I'm allergic to, uh, I have an autoimmune disorder, allergic to chemicals. It makes my immune system attack itself. And I have been soaked in them for so long. It's because of who I am. Margaret Ann Windsor, my father never married Wallace. And you got Meghan Markle over there, and I don't dislike Meghan Markle, but how dare everybody, the media, follow her around. They've made this super hero out of her. She's married into a family that are fake, but the United States and its press has promoted that. And they've 
Look what they put me, the real one in my son's Mark and Scott. I gotta go.